All aboard the learning train. Chaga, chaga, choo, choo. Hands in your lap, find your zipper. We're gonna zip, zip, zip our lips. We're gonna open up our ears. We're gonna listen, <laughs> listen. Shh, shh. So, Miss Jenny, we can hear. Color of the week. Can you guess it by looking at my dress? Yellow. I am what we like to call at preschool a yellow mess today. Do you have any yellow on? Are you wearing yellow? Or can you look around your room and see something yellow? Letter of the week is Y. The mommy is a capital, the baby is a lowercase. Do they look the same? Kind of. Do they sound the same? Always. Y says yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah and yo-yo. All right, come on over. Okay, before we do our calendar, I want you to practice signing your name. All right, so just do your best job. Have you been practicing signing with Miss Jenny? Each of you have a little video that I sent your mama and you can practice signing your name every day. Okay, practice signing it. Did you do it? Good job, I'm gonna do mine too. Ready? Mine is J-E-N-N-Y. Okay, eyes up here. Yesterday was Tuesday, April 28th. What number comes after 28? 29. What day comes after Tuesday? Wednesday. So pull out your hands and let's say, today is Wednesday. April 29th. The season is spring, winter, spring, summer, fall. I know my seasons, I know them all. Winter is the coldest one. Flowers in springtime start the fun. Summer brings us lots of heat. Colors and fall just can't be beat. Time for our scripture. Whatever you do, do it with all your heart. Colossians 3.23 Let us gather in a circle and kneel for preschool prayer to thank our Heavenly Father for the blessings we all share. You can either hold in invisible or imaginary hands with your friends and Miss Jenny or you can fold your arms. Bow your head and close your eyes and say a little silent prayer in your mind. and get ready to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand, you can give it a kiss. Take your right hand in the air, shake like you just don't care. Glue it to your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Next, we're gonna do our days of the week and our months of the year. We're not gonna play the music, we're just gonna sing it through one time without the music. And we're gonna do it a little bit slower so we can practice doing all of the signs. This is a seven, make a seven. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days in the week. Sunday and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and Saturday, seven days, seven days, seven days, seven days, seven days in the week. Good job. Months of the year. You ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, 
July, August, September, October, November, December, months of the year. Cha-cha-cha. Awesome job. Next, we're going to go through our letters and make the signs and sounds. Today, we're going to whisper. So let's start with our letter of the week. Do you remember what our letter of the week is? See if you can make the sign. All right. Now will you show them over on the wall? See if you're right. Yay, you got it. Why, yeah, yo, yo. Okay, let's whisper. T, T, television. K, K, kite. H, H, house. G, G, goat. B, B, bus. F, F, vest. M, F, mitten. R, R, rope. Z, Z, zebra. sign our ABCs. We'll sing it a little louder than a whisper, but not like a shout. Ready? So one hand in your lap, one hand out, making it A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S T U V W X Y letter of the week and Z. Now I know my A B C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the table and we're gonna do our colors up on the wall and then we'll go over what our centers are for the day. So come look up on the wall. You see all our colors up here? I'm gonna to point to one and I want you to try to make the sign for the color before I do. See if you can beat me, okay? And we're gonna do them all out of order. So let's start with this one. Do you know the sign for the rabbit? What color is the rabbit? <gasps> White. Did you beat me? Good job. Okay, what about what color is the pumpkin? Did you make the sign yet? Orange. Good. How about the bird? What color is that bird? Blue. How about the sun? Color of the week, color of the week, color of the week, week, week. Yellow. How about the kitty cat over in the corner? What color is that cat? Black. How about the apple? Red. The bear? What color is that? Brown. You guys are doing so good. What color is the pig? Pink. And 
the grapes. Purple. Let's see, did I do them all? Meadow, did I do them all? I think so. I think we did them all. Meadow's taking all of my videos. Isn't that awesome? So that's kind of like she's in the class with us. She's like the only preschooler here with me today. Okay, come on over to the table with Miss Jenny and we're gonna go over our center instructions. So this is our week down here and this is our day. It's Wednesday, April 29th. Letter of the week is Y, color of the week is yellow. Book of the week is this one, Yo Yes, which you can listen to Miss Jenny read on my website. And our Bob book is book number 11. Lad and the Fat Cat, and you can practice reading that with Miss Jenny on my website too. I have a video of me reading it. Our first center today is handwriting. Our second center is fruit kebabs. So come on over here and we'll do handwriting. Oops, I don't have my markers. Shazam, there's my markers. Meadow went and got them for me, she is the best. Okay, so for handwriting, you pick one color, a color you like you're gonna stick with this color for the whole page. Lid goes on the top, fingers at the tip with a proper grip. And then you start at the top on the left. You're gonna practice tracing every letter with your best effort. That does not mean it has to be perfect. We're just trying our best. If you are a little bit slower than Miss Jenny or faster than Miss Jenny, you can just go ahead and push pause on the video. And you can either wait for me or I'll wait for you. And when we're done, we'll move on to the next part of our handwriting. Bing, to the next row. Trace every letter all the way across the whole row. Bing, to the next row. When you get done on this bottom row, you're gonna practice writing your name one time, or you could practice writing it two times if you wanted to, if you have enough space. I'm just gonna write it one time. Capital first letter, and then the rest are lowercase. Good, then you're all done with your handwriting. You can tuck it right in underneath the letter Y. You can either change your marker color or you can start out with this color. I'm just gonna start out with this purple. We always start with our capital and our letters always start at the top, top, top. It goes down, down, down. Don't forget the lowercase. You want to do the lowercase in the same color. It goes down, down. Lid on the top. Marker gets put away. Pick a new color, any color you'd like. Lid on the top. Fingers at the tip. Down, down, down. Down, down. One more time. One more color. Down, 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 down. Once you have traced the capital and lowercase three times with three different colors, you're done with your handwriting and then you have options. We do our very best effort on these two pages. When you're done, you can turn it over. Look how cute that yo-yo is. You don't have to color your yo-yo if you don't want to. Or if you want, you can scribble it. Or if you want, you can take your time and color this with the most beautiful detail. You can make it, it kind of looks like a lollipop. So you can color it bright, fun colors if you want to. Or you can color it brown if you want to. You have lots of options. And that's the end of your handwriting. Our second center is a cooking center and it's a fruit kebab. So you'll notice you had one of these kebab sticks inside your bag for centers this week. And I wish that I had fruit to give to all of you guys, but I knew it would go bad. And so hopefully you have some fruit at your house. You can just use whatever fruit you have. 
Um, it's really fun to use grapes. I didn't have any grapes at my house today, but it's really fun if you have grapes and you wanna do grapes. Remember when we made um, caterpillar grapes and that was super fun? So if you wanna put grapes on your kebab, that makes it really fun. We're trying to make it look like a flower. And so these are the things that Miss Jenny had. I have banana, so I have a little piece of a banana that I'm gonna use and a raspberry and a slice of a strawberry and a slice of an orange. And I'm gonna make a flower kebab. And I would love to see what you guys make. If you make yours and your mama takes a picture, will you ask her to send it to me? Cause I would love to see it. So my, I'm gonna put my banana on first. You wanna use the side that is pokey, not the side that's flat. And you also don't wanna push it all the way to the very bottom. You wanna give yourself some space to hold on to it. Next, I'm gonna do my raspberry, and then my strawberry. Is it kinda sorta looking like a flower? Kind of, huh? And then very last, I'm gonna put on my orange. <laughs> and that was my flower kebab. I can't wait to see how cute yours turn out. And all of them can look different. Just like flowers look different, but they're all really beautiful. And how we're all different, but we're all really beautiful. All right, I love you so much.